Hi, I'm Tai Chong Zhen from Taiwan, and I'm speaking on behalf of National Taiwan University Hospital. It is our great honor to share with you our new findings in a recently published paper entitled High Levels of Hepatitis B Surface Antigen Increase Risk of Hepatocellular Carcinoma in Patients with Low Viral Load. Chronic hepatitis B infection is a global issue because it can cause liver cirrhosis and liver cancer development. Many lines of evidence have shown that serum HBV DNA level is a major driving force of disease progression. The higher the HBV DNA level, the higher the risk of liver cancer. In particular, patients with HBV DNA level higher than 2,000 units per meal are at increased risk of liver cancer. In other words, patients with HBV DNA level less than 2,000 units per meal are generally regarded as low-risk patients. However, these subjects still carry the risk for liver cancer. Therefore, it is very important for us to identify other risk factors for liver cancer development, especially in the low-risk patients. Recently, quantification of viral protein, the surface antigen, has been found to be an important indicator to evaluate viral replication. A lower surface antigen level has been shown to be associated with increased chance of surface antigen loss, which is shown to be as a cure for the disease. Since a lower surface antigen level usually signifies a better prognosis, we thought it would be very interesting to investigate whether a higher surface antigen level is associated with a higher risk of liver cancer, especially in the low-risk patients. To address this issue, we need a large cohort study with a long-term follow-up, and their baseline serum will be available. The primary aim of this study was to explore whether surface antigen level could complement HBV DNA level in predicting liver cancer development. Our study is a retrospective cohort study where we enrolled 2,688 HPV carriers. All subjects received long-term follow-up in the National Taiwan University Hospital. They were all treatment naive and had no evidence of cirrhosis at baseline. We collected their baseline serum and quantified HPV DNA and surface antigen level using commercial kit. The present years of follow-up was censored when, H when liver cancer was diagnosed or the end of the follow-up. We analyzed the data using kaplan meier analysis and the Cox proportional hazard regression model. The mean follow-up period of patient was about 15 years. The annual incidence rate of liver cancer was about 0.5%. When evaluating the relationship between the viral factors and the liver cancer, we found that both HPV DNA and surface antigen level were positively associated with liver cancer development. We then compared the predicting value of these two viral factors. We found that HPV DNA level served as a better predictor in predicting 10-year and 15-year liver cancer development. However, when we focus on the patient with HPV DNA level less than 2,000 units per meal, we found that HPV DNA level play little role in predicting liver cancer. In contrast, the positive correlation between the surface antigen level and the liver cancer development still exists. When compared to patients with surface antigen level less than 1,000 units per meal, the hazard ratio of surface antigen level higher than 1,000 units per meal was 5.4. The 95 confidence interval was 2.1 to 14. The relationship still held true when we use multivariate analysis. Our results show that surface antigen level may serve as a new biomarker to complement HBV DNA level in predicting liver cancer. In this study, we consistently show that HBV DNA, DNA level is still the main driving force of disease progression. However, in patients with HBV DNA level less than 2,000 units per meal, surface antigen level higher than 1,000 units per meal become the only viral risk factor associated with liver cancer. In other words, we may consider the combination of HPV DNA level less than 2,000 units per meal 
and the surface energy level less than 1,000 uni per meal as a new criteria to define the minimal risk of HPV carriers. Many thanks for your attention.